This is a quick tutorial of how to burn in time code, offset the time code, and nest items. I will start by opening a new project here, new sequence. I'm just going to import any old video here for the purpose of this tutorial. I got a video here. We'll drag this video and put it here. I will also go to the generators and put bars and tone as you might have yourself. Okay, if you if we look at it here, we will see that uh, actually this first. I will just make this a bit shorter. You can see in the timeline here as I'm moving it, the duration. We'll make this into exactly five seconds long, but it can be anything. I'm gonna close the gap. So right now, as you can see, that when I start with the timeline here, it shows the time code here as starting already at hour zero, which means that when the movie actually starts here, we're already five seconds in. But what the what he's asking you to do is that so when we start here at the movie, this would show as zero zero. So the way to do this would be first we select everything in our timeline. Better to use the command A or Apple A to select everything. Then we go up to sequence and go down to nest items. Click OK. Now what you will see is that what this creates basically is that all your edits, all your clips get treated as if they're just one piece of video here in the timeline. You can see that. If I double click on it, it opens up again into the edits that we had before. But in this version here, in sequence 1, it gets treated as one. And that's the one that we applied the time code to. Once we have nested the sequence, select this go to effect and we go to video filters video time code generator when I start that you'll see that I already get this you can see this time code now on the screen here I will right click on this item here and click on open in viewer so it shows up here as well then I'll go to filter now I'll move the playhead to where the actual video starts exactly to the first frame of the video which is right there that's the first frame of the video it shows right here at 0 05 we want this to actually show as 1 hour 0 seconds 0 frames the way we do this is first we make this into hour offset by 1 now it's 1 hour 5 seconds so we want this to become 0 so then we go here to frame offset and we know that there are 30 frames per second in this video so 30 times 5 is 150 so if we type here minus 150 enter you will see that now the time code here has become 0 the start of the clip would show as minus hour 5 seconds that's where the bar is as I move forward the actual video starts at 1 hour exactly of course the amount of offset that you'll have here would depend on how much material you have before if you have longer bars or if you have also your uh, your pop your sound pop or whatever then you would change the offset here but that's basically how you do it once once that's all done we would go to file export and you do you know your usual thing whether you export quicktime movie or you use using quicktime conversion then this time code will always show this way and when your audio editor gets it that's what he would be able to see so I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope that solves the problem for now. Until I see you on Thursday. Thank you. Bye-bye.